Hi everyone and welcome back to our next video on Construct 3. In the last video we worked on building an animated sprite. The difference between an animated sprite and a regular sprite is we're trying to get it to make it look like the character is actually moving, for instance, body parts as it is walking. So that's what we tried to do in the last video. If I double click on our main character here, you see that I created these four different animations and I could create even more to get it more realistic. Um, so you can do that with yours as well. One thing over here in the corner here is you're gonna see that it calls this animation one, it defaults to that. What I can do is I can rename that and I can call it running. So I could say that that's my running animation and I want to use that for whenever the character is running. Now, when the character is standing still, I don't want his feet to be moving. So I'm going to go up here to animations. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to duplicate and I'm going to call this something different. I'm going to call it idle. And idle meaning that the character is standing still, not moving so the feet aren't moving. So what I got to do here is I'm going to go down here and then click on this third one and I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to click on the second one and delete it. I'm going to click on the first one and delete it. Because when it's idle, I just want it to look like this. So there, I've got a idle animation, main character, and I've got a running. Now what I could do too is I could do jumping. So I could start with my idle here and I could duplicate it and call this jumping and I could create a jumping character. So when the character is jumping, you could maybe have the hair moving. You could have the arm moving up. You could have the feet kicking up. It's up to you. So there, we've got those there and we could use that. So take some time to build those and test them. Sometimes um, you might find the easiest way to make a character look like it's running is have the feet coming together and then have them moving apart instead of backwards and forwards. Sometimes that might be easier. So you can play with it. You can take a look online and see what other people have done. But let's go in and let's create a idle animation, a running animation, and a jumping animation. Take some time building that and testing it with the play button here to make sure it looks good and realizing whether or not you want it to loop or not. That's it for this video. In the next one, we're gonna take a look at how we can do some different things to get those animations to run. We're actually gonna start working in the event sheet in the next video. That's it, thanks for watching, see you next time.